Netflix's 1899 is famously shot in Dark Bay, an LED volume with a stage that rotates 360 degrees. I believe this stage is the open Pandora's box to endless possibilities for virtual production filmmaking. This goes way beyond just bringing anyone anywhere because we're shooting on an LED screen. The truth is, the wow factor of The Mandalorian has faded. People are used to volumes now, and some do not like them. And to me, the future of virtual production is using the volume in creative ways that expand the filmmaker's toolkit, like being able to pull off dangerous stunts safely. Stick with me. This is a fake car crash shot practically, but the car never crashes at all. This is a tech demo by Versatile Media. Now hold on, we're not done with 1899 yet. That rotating stage can hold 25 tons or 55,000 pounds and can make a full rotation in three minutes. Now that's slow, but cool. We're not just shooting cameras at LED walls anymore. Now combine the swaying set with shaky camera movements and boom, you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. I believe the future of virtual production is doing more than that. What if the stage simulated the motion of the ocean? What if it bobbed over in crested waves so that the entire cast had to react realistically? Just like how Versatile's robot arms react to the road and eventually the crash. And yes, there are still problems that we need to overcome, like gravity. See, if you know what you're looking for, you know that these people in this shot aren't actually hanging upside down. But it's cases like this that'll make virtual production stand out in the future. Now, as I've said before on this channel, I do not believe that virtual production is going to be every single shot of every movie ever moving forward. I just don't. Not everything warrants virtual production. There's a beauty to shooting practically that can't be replicated. And there are many instances where green or blue screen are just necessary to pull off VFX for now. But remember when the volume was first introduced to everyone and everyone was saying the possibilities are endless? Well, we just continued to shoot flatly into an LED screen. Well, the tech's been around long enough for us to see some of those endless possibilities. Like the show Station 19 on ABC that films all the scenes of their fire truck driving through traffic on virtual. That's something that we just can't do practically without shutting down a street and driving the same block over and over again. Now imagine those robot arms from Versatile put on that fire truck. It has the capability to bump into things, to drive realistically over roads. And the best part is that it's all in camera. To me, this is the future of virtual production, or at least one avenue. The point of this technology is to make the impossible to shoot practically stuff possible to shoot on a volume. And companies like Versatile and shows like 1899 are leading the way.